fire, Link. There, more appropriately. Welcome back. We are sure getting close here. We have a few bosses that we're currently stuck on. Sister Frida being chief among them. We have the uh, Lothric Castle Prince still to uh, to attempt. As well as a few cleanup items, I'm sure. One of which I'm wondering if we might require some great arrows for. I know Grey Rat used to sell arrows. I'm not sure if maybe Patches does now. Let's give a check real quick. Poor, poor Grey Rat. So I think I have a few great arrows, but likely not enough to cheese a dragon, say. Mm, nope. No arrows. Okay. Can't find anything you like. I'll try to be generous to Patches. I won't cut him down this early in the morning for not carrying the right stock of things. It's hardly his fault that I have my expectations all misaligned. Ah, Do you I sell am. arrows? Tell me true. Tell me do. Sell a lot of shields. All right, here we go. Dragon Slayer. Lightning arrows. Dragon Slayer. Great arrow. I think any old Dragon Slayer kind is fine. Let's get just a couple of these. Sure. Ashen one. Be sure. All right. I scraped my shoulder there. I wasn't looking where I was going. Let's see if we can jump back. I know that he, the dragon that is, uh, can get you from over here. I'm wondering if there is, in fact, a safe place to even fire arrows in Dark Souls Three. That's always been my uh, dragon workaround in Dark Souls 1 and 2. Because typically, you could set yourself up somewhere they could never reach you and fire away. In Dark Souls 3, they seem to be able to reach you just about anywhere. They have filled in their blind spots. But I'm sure we can find something to do so that the poor, poor dragon... The only idea here is to really put him out of his misery so that when I end the entire world later, he, uh, he won't have to experience it. That's weird. The dragon is gone. I can't remember if we knew that. I kind of thought the dragon was still there. But maybe I'm forgetting an important plot point. Let's stroll over there and take a closer look. If that guy doesn't take me out with his tiny pen knives first. It's always a possibility. Ah, it's nice to be back in a low level area. Back in the simple days. still cannot believe we got the uh, the symbol of avarice out of that mimic with an undead hunter charm no less like that just makes very little sense to me and I'm overjoyed I don't think it could have gone any better really that's the first mimic you come across so now I'm not sure if the dragon is going to surprise us and be back
But for now, we I'll grab these items. Mm-hmm. Great axe. Okay, up here for the item. So yes, I guess the dragon uh, will live. The dragon must have his own plan to weather the end of the world. He doesn't need me coming along and slashing at his ankles and neck bones. Certainly not. I don't believe I've seen that happen before, but then again, I've only played through this once. Anything is possible. That's my motto. So that being the case, let us jump over to the Cathedral of the Deep. We have a rather unfortunate, uh, unfortunate cleanup duty. I must have missed it. There we go. I definitely did. Okay. It would probably be easiest... Oh, I'm trying to think. We could go to the one right out front here and go down. Actually, there is a crystal thing. Let's do that. I think that, that crystal dog, or whatever they are, phased through the ground last time we tried to fight it, and it didn't actually take itself out of play. It just glitched. So it did, it did respawn, I believe, in the graveyard here. Let us try to jump down that way. We'll take out the crystal uh, beastie. Then we can go up the ladder and into the cathedral from the main entrance. That should put us in fairly good position for the first giant. That is, if I am accurately keeping it straight in my head, which I am so often not doing. Okay, I think we go down this way. Hello and welcome. So nice to see you all there in the chat. Classic torch technique. Okay, there's the crystal beastie. See if we can get a uh, lucky strike in. There. All right. So now I should be able to run back to this building up the ladder and straight into the cathedral. I'm thinking if we can take care of these giants, I really will have no excuse, no uh, side quests left before I should just jump back to Ariandel and try another Sister, Fr Sister Frida match. But oh goodness, the three phases of it have me uh, frightened. Let's just be honest. I'm wondering if it might be time for some online help, in fact. Because while it's lovely that they give you Slave Knight Gale for the second phase, what about one and three? What about when I'm dying in phases one and three? All right, I guess I should take the elevator down. Probably the way to go, rather than firing arrows from up here, where they may not reach. I 
believe that one of these giants, it's very regrettable to fight them because they're not involved in this. They are literally chained to the wall. And uh, I imagine I would be swinging around at any any vermin that pass by if I'd been chained up to the wall too. So it's it's not their fault here. But one of them has a very, very good item that I'd like to take from them, as villainous as that is. And then I am about to end the world quite violently and painfully, so they're not a part of that either. They don't deserve that sort of punishment. So I could try to do this with the uh, Dragon Slayer Great Bow. I imagine you can even do so and then run through one of these gates. He cannot get you. Continue to shoot him. Blah, blah, blah. However, let's take one melee. Quote, unquote, stab. Hey, now. See what kind of damage I'm doing here. In fact, to make it as quick as possible, let's go ahead and equip the old curved sword. Old wolf. And put that on my back. All right. Always forget about that guy. not the time to not be able to see his other foot. There we go. Okay, I got some shoes out of the deal already. Let's try to grab these. So I'm guessing that was not the giant I needed. I'm thinking it's a ring I'm after. Oh, there is a nice set of armor covered in muck lying about here. The whole set, it seems. But it is not poisoning me for once, which is lovely. I would much rather take the slowness than the slowness and the poison. Drang hammers. That looks like a fun time. Alright, I think that's all the items, so we'll try to get to the other end of things. Out of the muck. Aw, there's a lovely little... Sphinx cat motif? Not sure what that is exactly. Adorable. Is all. Okay, other end of the uh, cathedral. We should find another. Excuse me. As long as nobody else uh, jumps into the fray here, this should be simpler, actually, with less leechy uh, masses around. Whatever those are. Masses of leechy nuts, as I'm told. Hello, friend. I have come to deliver unto you a swift and slightly painless death. And in all likelihood, your ankle is going to, to sting a bit after this. That was an easy dodge that I didn't. Oh good, that did it. And what did he drop? Oh, I'm so slow. So slow and curious. Still not the ring I'm looking for. Interesting. 
There's only one other giant in the game I know of. I thought a giant held it. Maybe I'm just being racist. Um, there's one other giant in the Irithyll dungeon, I believe. We could check if he has it, if it's not one of these pick upables. I guess it's not. Hmm. Either that or I am misremembering. Which could also be the case. However, since that giant is out of play, we can now open this door. I forget where it would even lead. Sweet, sweet daylight. Fresh air. Saint Bident. It's not a trident. And no ring. Okay. Okay. Let me check momentarily here. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. Let me get to rings. There is one of these already. Lloyd's shield. I need Lloyd's sword, I believe. Let me check if I am misremembering. So sorry. Okay, it says it's on the ground, near the first giant you encounter. So I actually think that's the right giant. We were probably just on the wrong level. Because I know the first time you meet this guy, it's up the elevator here. So it's likely that it's in a spot where we would have been swiped at on that upper ledge. So what is the easiest way to get up to there? I can go all the way back down to the elevator. Or let's take a look out here. I forget if there's a way around. There doesn't seem to be any escape from this balcony, if I'm l I seeing it right. I don't believe there is. So I should probably go ahead and use my coiled sword fragment to best effect here. Last rested at... We'll see if we can get around to that other side. I forget if there's an easy bonfire. Or if maybe the Rosaria's bedchamber bonfire would get us there. That'd be the right level, if nothing else. Not necessarily the right side of the cathedral. But I think there might be a shortcut. So let's jump over to the bedchamber. We'll announce that we're coming first. It's always polite. Just burst into someone's bedchamber. That's their private space. They might be changing into some spandex. It's very awkward. I had a nickel for every time I've been changing into some spandex. Well, that wouldn't really be related to what we're talking about here. But still, I'd have a tidy sum collected. All right, I'm going to try to let the uh, the worm men live their lives here, unless they get in my way, in the way of my egress. Good, good for you. I'm thinking we should be able to drop off this way, unless it's not connected at all, which I always tend to forget. Ah. So there isn't. I thought it would lead us over to there. I guess it does not. Let's try the other side. You throwing saints by dance at me? Ghostly by dance? I see how it is. Sickening. 
sickening what you'll get up to. Alright, so this is tremendously unhelpful. I need to be exactly on the other side of it. And apparently there's no way. So I guess I need to go... Goodness me, do I need to go on the rafters? I forget how we got there the first time. There must be a bonfire that has a connection point. But maybe I just need to get into the rafters. Weird. Almost forgot about that guy. And fully forgot about that guy. There we go. So I'd really like to not, uh, not worry about it. You guys have fun. You guys do whatever it is you're doing. I don't mean to interrupt. Oh man, I need to be up. Up another level. Oh, that's disappointing. So I need to somehow get over to that one. I guess it's just here. Uh-huh. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I thought that looks connected. Let's make a terrible mistake. Okay, so that would require a small hop. I do believe that's the way up to the rafters, but I'm just going to go, if it will let me, up the, the watchtower side of that. I know there is a bonfire that leads to that watchtower. Which one was it? Oh, it was so long ago. Okay. Who's preventing this? Who dares prevent my resting? It might be that that one has never allowed fast travel for some reason. I seem to remember getting stuck here. A lot. Ahem. Okay, we'll try this again. So sorry. This should be an easy matter of navigation, but I'm making it quite difficult. For myself. Oh no, was it, uh, was it something I said, or was it just the sight, the sight of the worm gentleman that caught you upon your entrance? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if it was something I said. Eyeballs from them one by one and squeezed them into a delicious and saccharine juice. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. So I'm guessing there must be an elevator or a thing or a staircase that I'm forgetting down here. Some way, somehow. And if not, then it just it has to be up that watchtower, and we'll figure it out. Ah, the spandex commentary. Good. Good. I'm glad that's what it was. And nothing more sinister. No, oh, using the environment to your advantage. I see. Well, not in front of the statue that spews poos. No, thank you. Get me out of there. Oh, now I'm really slow. Now I'm just the slowest. Except for when I'm slashing. Apparently I can slash just fine. Do you mind? Alright, I'm really, I'm not remembering any device that would carry us up there. It seems like it has to be an external thing. 
Is, is my guess at this point? There's no way out the front entrance. We've established that. I feel like there was definitely just like the normal first way we came in. If we can get back to that bonfire, I should just retrace the steps there. All right, this one should lead back to the cathedral. Let me try to retrace. The first time we ever would have gotten in here would have been through the upper level of the cathedral. We would have had to go across to the rafters. I'm thinking that's it. As, as sad as it is, I'm thinking it's just rafters. Is the only way over there? That one's down below. That one's even further away. And we already established the bedchamber is a no-go. So let's run it, run that way. I'm so sorry for this. There's likely a much easier way I'm forgetting. I think, I think there's a shortcut right where I need to go here without the bother of the cemetery. I can't remember if it's this way or up that elevator. Let's try this way. We're running out of options, at the very least, so that's a good thing. If only I had picked a better one first. Ah, perfect. This is the one. This is where the giant was sleeping. These should be the corpses we need. It's crates to distract you from the corpses you need. Just when you've arrived. Okay. So this ring will just help the overall uh, glass cannon I'm building here for lack of a better word. Pontiff's right eye... I will replace Slumbering Dragon Crest with this, so as long as my HP is full, which... when I have the sword equipped, and if I'm using the Pontiff's left eye, I'm getting health back for every hit, so it's likely that my health will be full. That uh, sword ring makes it so that as long as your health is full, you also get another damage boost that stacks against our existing two. So that should be fun. And now I just have to get back uh, to the bonfire. I have this coiled sword fragment. I could just do it magically, but we'll use our ankles for a change. And I will attempt to be brave here. We don't have any souls to lose. I may need to pop an ember to chase after some online help. But let's go back to uh, old sister Frida three phases here. And uh, see if we can get lucky. In the combat sense. Nothing, nothing untoward. not going to try to make out with Slave Knight Gale, if that's what you're asking. Alright, into the chapel. Grab Gale, and then we'll pop an ember and see if anyone else is available so early in the morning to help me. As I am scared. Scared of Sister Frida, and uh, the resulting goat... Mania. I don't know what to call it exactly. It's... Ah. All right. Gale, lovely to see you. He will jump in at phase two. 
And then in order to survive to phase two, in order to meet Gale, how are we going to survive? Ooh, I keep forgetting. I do have an Estes shard. It may, uh... Oh, darn. I've already loaded all the way in here. We'll give it one try, and then we can go get an Estes shard if we need to. I doubt it will help us either way. So we are embered. I am not seeing any... Player summons. And the trend continues. So it may have been completely fruitless for me to have popped an ember. Darn. It's uh, likely very, very early for most North American players, and uh, I don't know if I have cross-server matching enabled for those elsewhere who may be awake. Hello? Good morning, benevolent players who have overpowered weaponry. It's me. It's your friend from across time and space. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's take a stab at it, uh, solo. Nope, not that. There we go. Alright, here we go again. That's just a very intimidating position. And devastating. Devastating move. She's invisible. Faster on an Old West Wyatt Earp gun battle every time, basically. Come on. One more, and then please let me sip before the cutscene. Whew. So we're on to phase two. We should get Gale in play, but we also get her, uh... Father? The father? Not necessarily her father. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. He gets real upset about the stain in the carpet, and then phase two. I wish, at the very least, Frida stayed down for Phase 2, and then it, she would surprise you. For Phase 3, it would be like, oh my goodness, she's back? But as it is, it's just kind of a lot. that maybe Gale can keep Frida busy. I'm going to try to focus on the father myself. And avoid the flames. Through the father and the flames. It's a famous song you may have, uh, may have seen. Sister Christian, no. Sister Crispin. Now I'm just imagining, because of that joke, I'm just imagining what if Crispin Glover was the voice actress. That would be, be an interesting choice.
think we should get out of there. And again. How am I frostbitten? Alright, come on now. Mm the fire. Not in the fire, thank you. going to explode somehow. Though I'm not sure how. There it was. I just did not want to be in there. Alright, there's the father. Now what? Just a, a fancy effect. And it didn't do anything to her at all. Okay. And Phantom um, Slave Knight Gale is gone. What a phase three. She actually just. She just did a get over here. She scythed me into her range. I did not know that was possible. Hugely impressive. Uh, fatal, as it turns out. So that's the problem. That's the phase three that I guess Gale can be involved for, but I, I don't think I've ever actually gotten him to survive that long. That is such a tricky battle. If it was just those first two phases, I would still feel accomplished, having beat it. So I can't even imagine how we're going to feel. So we've lost our embered status. I'm tempted to jump right back in and try it again, and I'm not sure if I should re-ember in the hopes that somebody m might have woken up, or if I should just go for it. Oh, who's to say? Because other than that, I think we have this battle, and we have the twin princes up the elevator in Lothric. Archdragon Peak is an optional area. We could mess around in there. But I think, I'm trying to think if there's any other, like, hidden bosses or side bosses we have not taken care of yet. There kind of must be, but, oh goodness, I, I'm not thinking of one. Yeah, we got Osiris so that we could have the Fragment. We got uh, Champion Gundir. It's actually uh, getting getting there. Here's one more cleanup item we can try just for some procrastination from Sister Frida. I do believe there are two more Crystal Beasties in this opening area. Um, there was one, when you go through the cemetery, there's one waiting for you that's like a, ha ha ha, come back later and try him again. But then when you get to these untended graves, the eclipsed grave site, I believe there are two in that area. So let's see if I can even survive to get back there.
Anytime. There you go. Let's see if we can survive either of these. Very lovely in the uh, darkness. Really hoping for one at a time. Cool, cool, cool. I'm stuck. <laughs> now that didn't last long. So getting sandwiched between two crystal beasties. Well, you know, it sounds fun in theory, not necessarily survivable. in play. All right. Down, Grave Tender. It's not your time. So is there any way to just get one of these? That would be so much easier. Maybe with a bow? Let's see. We'll just throw this in the old uh, lineup. Oops, I'm not aiming. And wouldn't even know how. There we go. <laughs> okay, I don't want that. There we go. Oh, come on. Let me just get one quick sip in. There you go. You let it happen, and I'm grateful. All right, couple of scales there. <laughs> Grave Tinder. Find the ghoul of your dreams. <laughs> These are some fantastic references. Take that, Grave Tinder. Okay. One more, I really hope, is all. Okay, procrastination over. No more of that for me. But another nice little cleanup duty. Two more beings that won't have to, uh... watch their existence ebb out in front of them. However that feels. Okay, so I have an Estus Shard, and then since we're coming from the Untended Graves, let's make it a, uh, a theme party. 
and I'll try to deliver those eyes of the Firekeeper to our Firekeeper. I believe we talked to Arena, and she did not have an option for them, so let's go ahead and give them to our friend and level up Master. Before joining Grave Tinder, my love life was ghastly. Now I feel more alive than ever. I have to warn you, these may be paid, paid responses. Not necessarily direct testimony. All right, Andre, take my shard. What needs? Take my shard from me and deliver unto me the goodies. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna check for a uh, undead bone shard as well. Which apparently we also had. Lovely. Healthier than ever. And then, please take these eyes. I don't know what they do, but they are starting to create a spot in my pants pocket. Ashen one, are these? Squish, squish. Eyes. Squish, squish. Yep, How seem to be. Of thee, Ashen One. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. I know, right? It's crazy. Ashen One, my thanks for the eyes thou'st given. But firekeepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen One, is this truly thy wish? Um, yeah, it actually is. Of course. I serve thee, and will do as thou bidst. This will be our private affair. No one else may know of this. Stay thy path. Find lords to link the fire, and I will blindly tend to the flame until the day of thy grand betrayal. Thank you. Ashen That's Lord. very generous. Forgive me if this soundeth strange. The eyes show a world without fire, a vast stretch of darkness. Yes. This is different to what is seen when stripped of vision. In the far distance, I sense the presence of tiny flames, like precious embers, left to us by past lords, linkers of the fire. Could this be what draws me to this strangely enticing darkness? Yes. Ashen one, if thine <laughs> heart should bend, kill me, and strip these eyes from my person. I will return as the firekeeper I once was, as it has always been. So that is super interesting. It seems I've now made the choice to make her, let's say, the dark firekeeper, and she will await the uh, the day of linking and then carry out my, my plan of betrayal to plunge us all into darkness. However, if you change your mind, you can kill her and then she will come back as the normal firekeeper. Which is very interesting. I didn't remember that was an option. Farewell, mayst thou. So, so far in this, uh, this journey of ours, we have walked away. In the original Dark Souls, we walked away into darkness leaving the flame unlit, likely allowing S Knight Solaire to light it. In the Second Kingdom, already slipping into darkness, we continued uh, that path as long as we could until we got the Undead Crown, which broke the cycle, allowed us to be undead and unhollow for all time in a kingdom of men. And so this time again, we are heading towards the Dark Option, Though there are so many interesting options in Dark Souls 3, I think we are heading to the one she is mentioning now. 
All right. I really can't procrastinate from Sister Frida anymore, can I? I keep trying. Ah. <sighs> too if we can uh, get a peek. I guess it must be directly up this. From this bonfire. I wonder if we can get a peek at the, the next boss that is waiting to kill us as well. While we're at it with nothing to lose. Aha! Someone in the chat is getting a good feeling about Frida. Well, that's... that's practically the same as a good feeling about Frida myself. Let's not waste it. Quickly! Quickly back to the chapel! At times like these, when I've had, uh, my poor little raw bottom smashed over their knee more times than I can count. I need all the motivation I can get. I'll take it. I just want to clarify, I'm talking about the the Ariandel Chapel boss battle specifically. I'm not, not just segueing into like a personal story about my life. Just to clarify. Okay. I have so many of these, why not? It's also at 91. That's excuse enough to use one. Stingy. I see how it is. Or rather, I don't. I don't see how it is at all. All right. Phase one. The good old days. The bad, bad days of phase one. No, no, no. Oh, man, that's going poorly. All right. And she's invisible. <laughs> Every possible hit I could take. What was it I was just saying about my raw little bottom? I can't remember. I honestly can't. I've said so many things. The good news is, this doesn't have a, a big lead-up or a load of guys in the way or anything. They know. They know what they've done here. And that they don't need to add any more levels to it. Just barely survive. Just barely survive. Oh, come on. going well still. Alright, Gail.
father. Can I help you? Ah, darn. It's not the place to stand we at exactly that moment. I can't tell when exactly I died. I thought I was dead a lot earlier than it seemed I was. Maybe I could have escaped that whole mess. What a shame. Very nice that Gale's uh, participation is not costing us anything there, at the very least. All right, so it seems like I can typically get lucky if I can just wait long enough to start striking, but not too long that she starts striking when I run in here. Ah, that was just too late. Get out here. juxtaposition of the ice of the sister and the fire of the father is such a cool battle. Ow, sorry about that, Gale. That looked nasty. And again. just in case there's any off chance that it's like a, if you kill her now, you don't have to do phase three. I doubt they'd be that generous. I'm trying to just leave the father to his business there. I keep catching that ice spike. Yikes. burst. Darn. That's not good. Okay, she's down. I doubt there will be a difference, regrettably, and I don't have Gale. Just to make it even worse. Oh man, this is so difficult. <laughs> and that is real flame, I can't get free hits. And then she just becomes intolerable. And so devastating, the amount of damage that did. I can't even fathom it. And 
she's invisible. Goodness, if I had a gale at a time like this. So much damage. out of Estes. All right. This isn't going to last much longer. I just need another player here. I can't do three phases with uh, with that kind of move set. That is just rough. And I never seem to be playing during a time when people near me are playing. So it may be that we will have to uh, return to this later. When we can finally find a uh, summon sign in here. I don't know if it's a matter of that I've ground myself out of the typical range and everyone else is, is handling this at a lower level and therefore I'm no longer eligible for, for summons. It could be part of the problem. I really don't know. But I'm sure not seeing any. And I have to imagine they would be around here. I do have, like, online play enabled? Question mark? Play online? Yeah. I think so. So I'm not sure. It could just be too early. But I'm not seeing any of them pop up. Rats. Okay. That being the case, let's spend our last five minutes here just getting a quick peek. Oh, I heard... Ah, it's because I sat at the... It's the sound of a summon sign uh, coming into being, but it was just gales because I cancelled it having sat at the bonfire. I got very excited there that we were about to get some help. But no, still alone. Still so desperately alone. So, as we were about to, let us uh, jump back to the Grand Archives here. I want to get a peek inside this uh, this fog wall. Die, and then we'll know what we uh, have going for us next time. We'll know the two sources of our death for next session. the elevator.
end up this way? I can't remember if there are guys between the door. I think there are many. Just to make it even worse. I always get this place confused with the Honor Londo lead up. Doesn't look fun. Quite a few swordsmen and things. use the invincibility frames of opening this door here. Got a series of the Sunless Realms. And I couldn't be happier. Welcome. Three minutes remaining. I'm just gonna jump on in here. Try to die quickly. Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Hello, young prince. Mind you, Hello, slightly less the young prince. The Lord interests me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of lords, let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Appears that the older brother is uh, fighting on behalf of the younger brother to keep the champions of Ash away. hard to hit him in that position, strangely. And Cirrus has died already. Okay. Interesting. I guess I need to be a... Uh, the tank here. That is what we are up against after. That is the main progress path here, if we can even get that. <laughs> Harry and Dell is one of the DLCs. It's not necessary to complete the game, but we, we're going to complete it regardless. But this is what we have to do. We have to beat this guy. Again, only one phase of several. I forget how many phases are in the Prince battle. But it does not end even if we got that health bar down, which we did uh, fairly good at. Got him almost all the way down. So, that is what we're up against. Thank you for uh, deal uh, bearing with me through a few tries there. Dealing with me, did you? Whatever it is you did. Thank you for helping me uh, try that out. We will be back to try Sister Frida and the Dear Princes again. 
I will hopefully be able to find some online help eventually that uh, would really turn the tide. And until then, I hope you're well. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.